Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 18th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about relational operators. Now in the last few tutorials we have been using the less than relational operator. It's just that I didn't mention to you guys that we were using it. But we've been using it and uh, apart from the less than operator there are 5 more relational operators that we can use in C. Right? And we're going to see all 6 relational operators in action uh, in this tutorial. And uh, the program that I'm going to make is going to be very simple and straightforward. And um, you know, we're just going to use the if statement with the relational operators. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two variables. And uh, both are going to be integer variables and I'm going to give them values. And then using the if statement and relation operators, we are going to determine the relationship between the two variables. Right? So as you can see, I've saved this file already. It's called relational underscore operators dot C on line one. I have a comment. I have the header file and the main function in place. So we can type in the code. And uh, before I use my variables, I'll have to declare them. And I'm going to do that by typing in int space a comma b and a and b here are my variables. Then I'm going to give a the value five and I'll give b the value four. On the next line, I'm going to type in the keyword if and uh, within parentheses, I'm going to type in the test condition for this if statement. And the first relation operator that we're going to see is the greater than operator. So my test condition is going to be a the greater than symbol b, right? And uh, on the next line, I'll type in the opening curly brace for my if uh, statement. And within the curly braces, I'm going to have uh, printf that's going to display the message five is greater than four right because uh, that should be the message that we display if a is greater than b a here has the value 5 and b has the value 4 so if 5 is greater than 4 then we should see on screen 5 is greater than 4 right but instead of uh, displaying a is greater than b what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the percentage d format specifier twice within the if statement within the double quotes and i'm going to pass a and b as arguments to the printf function so that the message that gets displayed on screen is not a is greater than b but is uh, 5 is greater than 4 right so i hope i'm making sense there so printf percentage d uh, is greater than percentage d and i'll put a new line escape sequence just in case any more printf statements get executed after this one we would want uh, those to be on new lines and after the second double quotation mark i'm going to pass a and b as arguments right put a semicolon to terminate this statement and since I'm really very lazy to type in the same thing um, five more times I'm just gonna copy this piece of code and I'm gonna paste it uh, five more times so that we can uh, you know have if statements for the remaining relation operator so the next one is gonna be the less than relation operator and all you have to do is change the test condition from a greater than symbol b to a less than symbol b right and also within the printf you would have to change this to percentage d is less than percentage d right and uh, i'm going to paste the if block again and the third relation operator that we're going to check is greater than equal to relation operator so this would check if 5 is either greater than 4 or if 5 is less than 4 right so since 5 is greater than 4 you know this uh, condition would evaluate to true and the printf within this if block would be executed right and if uh, let's say the value of b was also 5 then you know even in that case this printf uh, would be executed because well 5 would be equal to 5 right so uh, you type in the greater than symbol and then the equal to symbol and you'll have to change the code within printf to uh, percentage d is greater than or equal to percentage d I'm gonna paste the if block again and the next relation operator that we're gonna see you must have guessed it it's less than equal to and uh, within printf I have to change the code to less than or equal to and the next one that we're going to see is uh, the equal to equal to relation operator and that is you have to type in the equal to symbol twice and this one checks for equality so this one would check if the value that's stored in the variable a is equal to the value that's there in variable b which is not the case so you know this printf statement won't get executed with the values that we've given to the variables but um, well it is a relation operator and we have to see it uh, so percentage d is uh, equal 
to percentage D. And the last one that we're going to see is the not equal to relation operator. And this one checks whether the numbers are not equal to each other or not. And if they're not, then this would evaluate to true and the statement within the if block would get executed, right? So the way you have this is by typing in the exclamation symbol. And uh, if you don't know how to get that, then, you know, on most keyboards, you have to shift up on key one on the key keypad, right? So you type in the exclamation symbol and then you type in the equal to symbol. So that's not equal to Ryu. That's not equal to relation operator. And percentage D is uh, just a moment, not equal to percentage D. Now save this file and we can execute the program. But before we do that, let's just uh, try to understand, you know, the statements that would, would get executed. Let's try to figure that out on our own first. So the value for A is 5 and the value for B is 4. Now, would this evaluate to true or not? 5 is greater than 4? Obviously it is. So this print of statement is definitely going to be on screen. So we are going to see 5 is greater than 4. And this one, uh, well, it's not going to work because 5 is not less than 4. And uh, well, this one, would this work? Yes, it would because as I said, the greater than or equal to relation operator checks whether the numbers are equal or whether the number um, that's on the left side of the operator is greater than the right side of the operator. So that is the case. So this printf would also get executed. And the last printf statement that would get executed is this one because five is not equal to four. So we would definitely see that five is not equal to four on screen. So I've saved the file and let me click on build and run and see the output. And uh, there you go, that's the output. You see five is greater than four, five is greater than or equal to four, and five is not equal to four, right? So all these three statements are true. There's nothing wrong with the output. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the value of five to two. So let's check the less than uh, family of relation operators. I click on build and run again. And now you would see, you know, three different printf statements. You see uh, two is less than four, two is less than or equal to four and two is not equal to four, right? So these are the statements. Uh, I mean, these are the lines of output that we see. And uh, it's because the statements that got executed uh, are this one right here, you know, the one that gets executed when the less than relational operator gets um, returns a true value. And then this one, when the a less than equal to b relation operator returns a true value and of course this one is going to return a true value because the number is not equal and uh, well i know that this tutorial is getting boring and i'm just wasting time but you know just bear with me for one more second um the last thing that i'm going to do is change the value of a to four right so that we can see the um output from the equal to relation operator and this is four is equal to four this is the message that i wanted you to uh, take notice of and uh, you obviously would see these two statements as well so uh, you can you know just mess around and change the values and you know if you're getting bored and you can play with this program but it really is very boring i shouldn't have uh, spoken for so long in this tutorial uh but i'm sorry i apologize i'll make it up to you guys the next one that i'm going to record is going to be an interesting tutorial and um well you know just um, make sure that you've got this, you know, when you check for equality, you have to use the equal to symbol twice. And when you make an assignment, just like, you know, we assign the value four to a, we use the equal to symbol once. So this is something that you have to be careful about. You know, that's all a apart from this, you know, everything in this tutorial is like pretty easy to catch. And I'm sure you would have absorbed it by now already. So thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next one and please subscribe to my channel and, uh, see you soon.